Everyone can move more. Slay Spire. Ascension mode. Iron Gled. Let's jump in. Not much success. Although, we've had this before. We got stuck on a plateau. It's treaded water for a little while. And then we had a big burst of progress. So, I, I hope that's what's going on at level 18 here. A little bit of treading water. Um, and then we'll have some progress and get through to 20. I think 20 was the last level. Random Colorless could be good. Random Common could be good. Boss Relic, but I really like all the starting relics. I kind of want to go for... Let's go for a Relic. Okay, I like the extra HP on Rest. Is there any... Exploitable path? I like... Alright, I like this path here. Ah, my phone. What do you want from me, brother? Okay. I like this path. Get a shop. It'll be Rest site. I mean, you'll, you'll see the path I'm taking. Because I won't be taking it. Unless I die, in which case I won't be taking it. Alright, good start. <laughs> Single strike, good turn. Which of course then leads into- Are oh, you- Oh, because I'm weak and I didn't- Oh, you idiot rushing through. Alright, an extra four damage for no reason. Okay, I can make up for the extra HP with the Regal Pillar. Uh, yeah, Whirlwind's good. There's a lot of situations which we can possibly abuse that. It's AoE, if we get some more energy, great. If we get land more strength, great. If we get there's still, there's a lot of situations in which a uh, whirlwind can be a win condition in a lot of fights. Cool. Wild Strike, Thunderclap, uh, Vulnerability, that could also be good with Whirlwind. <laughs> I usually don't take it though. True Grit, I mean, Exhausting, ugh, mmm. I don't think as much as I kinda wanna take Thunderclap, just so I get a Whirlwind synergy. It's not like a strong synergy, Thunderclap itself isn't that strong. I think we skip. Skip the card. Good, fight more. How about we don't want to hurt me? And here we can get rid of both of your curl ups. And only take minor damage. And then destroy both of you. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Body slam can be really strong. Especially if I get some proper blockage going on, which can also be hard to do. If it's upgraded, it's not upgraded. And then upgrading cards, it's kind of hard to do with this level of Sentry because you, you get hurt so much. Okay, I'm going to take it. Ah, I'm not going to take it. Ah, oh, man. It's a chicken or the egg scenario, honestly. I would love Prismatic Shard. I have not had, I don't think I've had a proper run where you get an early Prismatic Shard and, just, and then just run with it. I don't think that's happened to us yet. 23 is a lot. We do have a rest side up here. Two random cards isn't as good as choosing the card. Probably be a card I don't care about getting upgraded. Like, it's usually just a strike and defend. We roll in two because we have so few cards. I'll have to... If I just have a good fight here, we'll heal. I'll probably have to heal anyway. I'd rather... Uh, we might die. I'm just going to leave. Just because the value of upgrading... It was likely to be strike defend gets upgraded, and the value of that's pretty low. But also, my theory... <laughs> that, was, that was silly. We didn't need to clear his, uh, his artifact. But also, my... Uh, philosophy has mostly been that you kind of have to take those low chance rolls and hope they pay off at this point of like difficulty. A little recklessness can pay off big. Why do I keep getting whirlwind on the turn? It's the wrong turn to get it. Well, it blocks on the day. If we do 5, 10, 15, we can't actually kill you if I do this. So I'd end up blocking at least 10 damage. Plus get the AoE on you guys. Now it's the very painful part of the fight where I have to get through all these dazes. Glad I didn't take a, all that damage. That was easy. This guy will be dead this turn. 
This guy will be dead next turn. Tori is great. Spot weakness, we've had oh we've had so much luck with spot weakness. Battle Trance is great too for the card draw. I think we take spot weakness. I've had a lot of luck getting that that strength off spot weakness. I would love to upgrade a card. Do we have another rest site? We do have rest site right here. I can upgrade. I can rest, fight, upgrade, elite fight. That's probably but that might be better. Get that bonus HP off the Regal Pillow. Do really like Regal Pillow. I love the extra HP you get off of it. 816, that's pretty good. 11. Does him being vulnerable, I want to help us. That does help us quite a bit. Sure, go ahead and hit me. And then you're dead. Oh no. Arm, it's in flames, more power, it's much, or more strength, it's much. It's not as good, I don't think. Because it's not repeatable, it's only two strength. Arm, it's that upgrade might end up being really good. Very strong. Right strong. Sundial, yeah, give me that. We go here, we upgrade a card. Things actually arm, it's pretty slow. But I like it. <laughs> you can pay off big. We go here, we upgrade a card. We upgrade spot weakness, shrug it off or whirlwind. A whirlwind. That's already more damage. Ugh. I think it has to be whirlwind. And we go for the elite fight, which is just this knob. He's not a friendly guy. I'll probably have to throw a weak potion at him. I will actually exchange strength here. Hit him for 22. Uh, let's throw the weakness potion. So I'll throw it next turn anyway, so might as well shave off a little bit of damage this turn. Armaments, I'm not going to armaments. So I don't want him to get any angrier. He's already way too strong, and now he's dead. Reaper. Yas. Auto Lightning. What skill? Oh, bars. Spot Weakness. Just start with the potential strength every every time. Here we upgrade in our card. I think we upgrade the upgraded. Upgrade the bottled Spot Weakness. And then I fight or do an event? We're doing okay on cards, I think. More cards. I was gonna say, well, more card. Don't gonna say more cards can't hurt. That's obviously false. More card options can't necessarily hurt. Event. We do have events are bad. <laughs> Wait, which level is that? Um, I know it's one of them. Unfavorable events. Yeah. Let's just, let's just go to the fight. This is a terrible first turn. Okay, you'll be dead next turn, I hit you, and I take all the damage, because I have no blocks. Gives me a couple more defensive cards, and you'll probably be nice. Would have loved Reaper earlier. Hollow. Extra energy is going to be pretty pointless because he's dead. Because he's dead. Apply one week to all enemies can be nice. The Sword Boomerang goes really well with the strength. We can get a lot of damage off that. I'll throw another attack. Yeah, we do need some defenses in here, though. I'll rest for this boss fight. Thank you, Regal Pillow. really do like Regal Pillow. You don't attack. We can just heal a little bit. It's a pretty weak turn. But I don't think I'm otherwise going to be using Reaper here. So it burns it out of our deck, at least. Ouch. Alright, not bad. I don't have to do two damage to him, it's very doable. Uh, okay, we did it. Spot weakness every time it's up. Gain some block, his three, I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna end turn. I don't wanna take unnecessary thorns damage here. That d doesn't matter. 
I can either hit him, take damage, or not hit him and not take damage. So I'd rather not hit him, not take damage. 16, 32. Let's get a free play in here. Going to Rampage, going around, or Bludgeon? Bludgeon, I'm not going to have energy. Probably not going to have enough energy to play a lot when it comes back around. So I think actually a Rampage. We just go like, bam, bam. Knock him down. And then, hey, get that Rampage going around. That's a lot of damage. Glad it doesn't trigger <laughs> the thorns every time. Otherwise, obviously, I wouldn't have done that. Ooh, this is dangerous. 22. I don't think I have enough damage here to actually fully block this. Or uh, fully you know, do 50. I don't think I had 55 damage. Alright. Nice boss fight. It's a pretty decent de boss fight. This makes sense. I would like some more defense. Not nah, scary. Eh, not that good. I mean, I'm thinking Zozu for the energy. Potions can be so helpful, though. What cards are we going for? I would be going for more defensive cards, but energy is also really good. And we don't, we're always going to have options for more cards. I'll just take the extra energy. Sorry, potions. We only have two potion slots anyway. Potions are not ironclad. He's not much of a drinker. It's not his shtiz. Money, 221. I don't want scary elite fight because it's very scary. If you go this way, we have a nice... Yeah, it looks like we have a nice uh, spread of stuff. I go this left side. Yeah, we'll go this left side. Hello, Sphere Guardian. Of course you don't want to be weak. Or the opener. Why would you ever cooperate? Now we're frail and we're going to take tons of damage. Because that's how this guy works. I don't, I don't like it. Alright, let's try to minimize our damage and pick through some of this block. I have extra energy because we have Sozu, um, by the way. Just kind of threw that away for no reason. Do you have 8 times 4? Don't Okay, I would do that. And then with the times 3. Sphere Guardian is pretty, actually pretty brutal. Finally, some more strength. That frailty. Oh, where's my turnip? Turnip is where it's at. Don't think I need Infernal Blade. Clash. I don't. I want more defensive cards. And we also have a lot of skills anyway. Shockwave can be. We have a little extra energy. I might take Shockwave. Getting that weak and vulnerability. For three turns might actually be good. Ouch. Give your plated armor. Yo, Reaper has been doing a lot of good for me. Roland does 24 damage. I'll stock his plate armor twice. Just want to not. Just want to protect our HP a little bit. It's a lot of strength. It's 12 damage. I, okay. It's 33. He doesn't die off that, but this only hits him for two. <laughs> so, I wasn't going to get much healing off that regardless. None of these. Can't. Mmm. All right. This is about to be painful. And now we're frail too. Ah. Okay, we can at least get him with the upgraded shockwave. Just block as much as we can. This is why turn up so good. At least Tori's kind of making up for some of it. Thank you, whirlwind plus strength combo. Rupture, we're not losing health. Combustion, I don't think we need for this. We'll skip. I was kind of hoping for some cards to help me not get, like, some defensive cards here. 
the video game is not cooperating, give me the offensive cards. Yeah, not too bad. One good thing about Xcos cards, they they don't interact with confusion. Am I going to armaments? One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Two, three, four. Two. Don't need armaments. Reaper for three damage. That is weak. It's not armaments anyway, just play the defend. Ugh, stop it. You're bad. You're you're bad Sneko. Alright, we're getting awfully close to death. 5, 10, 15. We can bash him once, but we can't sword boomerang. Ugh. These, uh, <laughs> the confusion. <laughs> Too much. One, two, three. Okay, we can play our midst upgrade our strikes, and then that will kill him. All right, we got out there with a nine HP. Bloodletting, lose HP for energy. I like energy. Yeah, but it's already upgraded. Take it. Now, can I survive this fight? Oh, <laughs> I hope so. No, I can't. I'm dead. All right. I, mean, I need all of our defensive cards here. Give me armaments. Give me heal 10. But then that's not as much as 16. Block. Lucky Tori there saves us, but now we are vulnerable. Well, it's not going to be any good here. I think we're just super dead. Sad, because this is a solid run. Okay. A little shrug it off. Pop on the shockwave. Nine damage, six. I don't want to take any damage. There we go. But we can't just play it to not die because we'll never kill them. They're going to attack me hard enough. They're going to hit me eventually. The strength helps a ton, though. Lose three HP. I can hardly, I can scarcely afford to lose three HP. As much as I'd like to bash this dude. Okay. That helps a lot. I think we actually want to go for the go for the kill here. No one, neither, no one's attacking. Uh, let's just draw a card. One, two. We want these attacks to be as strong as we can, so we'll upgrade them. We'll take you down. Okay, we actually. Came out of that fight ahead. Offering is good. Blood for blood is not bad either because we're going to hit a lot. I have to go heal. We got beat up. We go to our elite fight. Say someone's attacking me. Reaper might be able to play again in this fight. Really wish I had Gremlin Horn. Gremlin Horn's good. Eight strength is so good. I guess <laughs> that's really good. No, he's charging his laser. I can just kill you. Okay, I was hoping for. All right. I was really hoping for a Reaper there. That's more health. I like health. Heavy Blade, we're doing strength stuff. I kind of want to take Heavy Blade for big hits. But it's not a defensive card, and that's what's killing us. We don't have defenses. Ugh. Yuck. Nine damage unblocked. That's not going to be enough to actually. But as we found, like 13 healing is still good. Uh, as we found, waiting for the perfect time to use it isn't really working out for us. Okay. 
Well, I mean, that's so much. To become vulnerable after kill, no? And then this, that's bad for this scenario. I'm gonna do this, do this. Actually, just... Ugh. Ugh. He's gonna die no matter what attack we do. So I guess we have to do that and just take extra damage here. Unless I want to wait around forever. Which you can't really afford to do. That's 34 damage. Let's double our strength. It's now 54 damage. Which we can kill him with bloodletting. So I lose 3. That's 33, 54. He's super dead. Not doing any block stuff. Bloodletting and extra bloodletting I don't think helps us as much. An extra sword boomerang. We have enough damage. I think I'm leaning, really leaning towards... I don't upgrade any cards. A lot of our best cards are already upgraded. Getting a limit break upgrade would be possibly fine. So I'm thinking we go elite or we go upgrade. We go upgrade. Mob bank, really unfortunate because there's a shop right here. Happens, though. Mumfied hand, if only I had powers. I can buy a power. Extra card draw is good. Whenever you enter a shop, healing. I mean, healing is always good. I'm going to take Mumfied hand. Even though we have no powers, we'll grab some powers. Like Evolve. I can just grab Evolve right now. <laughs> another, another Elite Fight? Or another heal? I also don't need to shop. Event heal. Ah, we can go for the Elite. It's a little risky. We don't have the big heal here. I hate that they don't attack me. I just heal for eight. Yeah, like I said I don't want to wait around. I should take in the bag of getting the better card draw, like better first turn. This is, that was dumb. That was a bad turn. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted. Get you both that shockwave. Hit you with the whirlwind. We have no strength right now. For real? <laughs> you, you playing right now? You, you serious? It's hoping to kill 13 health cultists, man. All right. This is very annoying. Split the damage, I suppose. Just a bunch of days is in here. Drew, did I draw like all of them in my deck? I think so. Just, just in a row. And I get for a painful twenty-four, and we kill him. It was a bad fight. Uh, Thundercloud with a lot of extra strength, making enemies vulnerable. It's a terrible area of vulnerability, though, so I'm going to skip it. We're going to go this fight. We're going to die. <laughs> this isn't going well. We have no box. Like, we have no defense. It's really killing us. Should have just done the whirlwind for the extra energy instead of the other thing. Okay. 54 damage. Hey, that does kill you, so I'd survive. Not even gonna offering. Just wanna, I'm just gonna Reaper you. Where's my Reaper? Give me a, a little 12, 12 HP. So I healed a little bit. Probably not gonna be enough. Another spot weakness is a little overkill. Cause I need defense. We're getting zero defense cards though. I go for a double. I mean, I, I'm a little desperate. We could try to go for a double strength gain play that then lets us just kill the enemy before it kills us. 11 yields is as good as 11 block, right? If we don't kill him soon, we're just dead. K 
Okay. <laughs> hmm, alright. Bash is vulnerable, it's 49 damage, it's 73 damage, he's already vulnerable, so I hit him with that. I hit him with that. I hit him with that, he's dead. Okay. We actually made it through that and got the boot. DOS boot. Dual wield. Power copying would be really good with the mummified hand, but I don't think we're gonna be. We don't have any powers yet. We don't have a lot of good attacks to copy, or maybe Reaper. Mm, didn't get the cards we wanted. At all in this run. And st might still be able to make it work. This is a bad first hand. <laughs> Double strength into nothing gets a guy not attacking. Alright. A little more hand control would be good too. If we had that. So we're going to arm it's upgrade everything. Grab some strength. Grab some card draw. Throw up a Reaper. That is just the full health at least, and then all for 24. Not terrible. We do take a lot of damage, but we did just fully heal. Yeah, shockwave, take out the little boys. It's a weird way to, to describe that scenario. That's what that's, that's what happened. And sir, don't even don't even know any bloodletting. Ah, maybe I should have. Get a little more damage in there. He's not attacking. So we are just going to be just bash gum hitting with the heavy blade. And then doing nothing. Okay. One yeah, one bad thing about spot weakness, a little situational. Don't hit me so hard. It makes me sad. Uh, he needs to die soon, so we need to be turn on the aggression. Okay, he's not really doing anything, which is really good for us. One, two, three, four. He summons boys, and he's dead this turn. Twenty-three health. We have sixteen strength. He's he's dead for sure. Oop. We've making it further than I expected without these defense cards. That I can really use. There's one. Lodge is too expensive. Berserk's just berserk. Especially without us having a defense. Transform strikes and defends. Could be good. No longer discard your hand. That'd be really good to hold on to these spot weaknesses. Mmm. Mmm. I'm thinking I'm thinking of my Brunic Pyramid. We can get five HP. A randomly upgraded card. Transformer strikes and defends and potentially more useful cards. Or potentially just garbage, even also garbage, like equally garbage, if not more so garbage cards, because it could be anti synergy or no synergy or whatever. I think we just keep the Runic Pyramid. Because yeah, we're so, the few defense cards we have, if we don't play them, we probably want to keep on, like, hold on to them. And if our spot weaknesses aren't applicable in that turn, we probably want to hold on to those as well. I can't go hard on the elites, because I think we'll die. Shot, that's an elite, bad elite though. Is there a later shop? There's a shop up here. Can I get to that shop without dying? I can try. And if I have to go around, I guess I can go around if I have to. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how those first few fights and events go. Alright. Okay. Upgrade everything. Get something free off Evolve. Impervious and take no damage. And then hit him for heal for 12. Oh, we keep our hand. That's a good idea. <laughs> that was a good play. Cool. Well, first things first, draw a card, get some block in here. And then, we're gonna double our strength. For a ton, of, do a ton of strength. Deal twenty-five three times. Uh, yeah, sure. And then uh, I think we just kill him. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Another shrug it off. Not the best, but I am comfortable. At least one more block card in here. Um, we want the damage kind of spread out on these guys. gonna hurt a lot. Only have 30 damage or 49 damage. Not enough to kill either of you, so I'll just do 15 to everyone. 
and then eat a lot of pain. Reaper would be gorgeous. There it is. What do I get for free? A strike? Well, you can take down your block. That makes Reaper all the better. And then Shockwave. And we have to bloodletting because I was stupid because I wasn't keeping track of my energy properly. I'm all for 16. Heal back up to full. And then Offering to hit him with the Sword Boomerang to take out their attacks completely. And then finish you off. Alright, that was actually a very successful fight. Almost impressed myself. An upgrade, pre-upgraded Sword Boomerang. Now we already have good some like it's working. Why fix what's not broken, but might be broken by the time we get up there. I'm thinking about that armaments. It's not a good defensive card. It's for the upgrade. You already have an armaments to upgrade things. It's an upgraded armaments, so it upgrades everything in your hand. Armaments is not for the blocks for the upgrade effect. And we already have the upgrade effect off the previous armaments. Just leave it. Spire growth. I forget how scary you are. Is the answer very scary? It's probably very scary. Yeah, you constrict. You do your constriction nonsense, which is actually very scary. Should have upgraded before I played that other one. Whoops. Whoops. That was just a messy turn. <laughs> that was a very messy turn. Impervious Heavy Blade? We'll want to Reapers very soon. Okay. Some of the Shockwave. Offering for that energy. We can't even draw that many cards. Shrug it off. Reaper, heal 18, or heal a lot more because that's how vulnerabilities work. Little bloodletting, gain energy to block better. And also just almost kill him. We'll take two damage, it's fine. Just, just get him dead next turn. Oh, uh, no, cause I didn't calculate a constriction damage. Then that was dumb. Because he would have been dead this turn anyway. Ghostly armor. Ooh, I'm thinking towards ghostly armor. But I have to play if I have it. It's okay. Bloodletting, extra energy with the giant hands we got for Runic Pyramid. The extra energy is not necessarily a crime. Could use a little more card draw, though, for that. I'll throw more bloodletting because we have an offering, uh, an exhausting offering, and that bloodletting was upgraded. This is not a thing I like to have. I don't like these choices. 15 HP at this point is a lot. 4 max, not that big of a deal. We have a shop here, elite. I can go for this elite. I don't want to go for like a double elite. Oh, maybe I do. You can probably handle that. We'll see how it goes. Ah, uh, man, this does kind of pay for itself. Uh, big hands. Uh, I lose 15. I'd rather just lose 4. We have the pair. Like, it just negates, like, some of the pair. It's, it's, I overthought that. Shop. I'd rather have an elite. Ah, uh, shop. We can buy something. We're going to have a shop anyway. We can buy something. It might be something bad. But then if I go that way, I have to commit to that elite fight for the shop. Let's go that way. But then I missed the shop. Uh, that way might be even more lucrative. But this way we have an elite fight. Hmm, okay, so it's either a shop, campfire, elite, campfire, elite, campfire. Or it's event, elite, and then I have campfire, shop, elite. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking this way to the right. Ducking to the right right here. Should have got more money. I came here. Corruption, too scary. Yeah, a little scary. Two potion slots are real bad. This is a bad maneuver. I shouldn't have ducked in here. Uh, Six nature reduces, uh, I think, something to... We don't have any debuffs. Like, we're not doing debuffs. It does go with mummified hand, obviously. Do I just remove a card? Do I do anything here? We do nothing here. Wow. Unfortunate. Here, we upgrade a card. What do we upgrade? Impervious. The yeah, second spot weakness. Offering. Sword Boomerang. Want to shrug it off? Probably want to shrug it off. Get that extra little block in there. I'm not too worried about the card draw off upgrading. Um... Don't. Dang it. 
Tangela. Stop, I hate Tangela. Like, oh, it, I, stop. Stop it. Ugh, Tangela's the worst. Getting me a free bash, I'll bash it with this. Oh, uh, limit break, of course. Alright, I'm just gonna blood letting into Invervious. Let's not take this unnecessary damage. That I've already taken too much of. Pummel, ooh. Goes all that strength. Gotta duck out. We might be able to make it through this. Oh, it's so aggressive. I'm doing it. This is a bad idea. If we get a couple good turns, we'll be okay. Okay. This is for 22. That's solid. 15 times 2, not enough. 49, not enough. Do that. Hit him for 15 times 4. It's a lot better for us. Tori also saved us a ton of pain. We can get through this by slaying you and then slaying also you. We made it. We got unceasing top. Probably not going to be relevant. I can get tons of angers. What anger? How does how would anger help me? It lets us apply our strength more. The dead draws aren't as bad with the Runic Pyramid, because we're drawing a lot anyway. We have a lot of card draws with Ceaseless Unceased Time. I'm going to usually never do this. I'm going to throw a late game anger in here. It's a very rare, <laughs> it's like a very rare thing like for us to do. I'm going to do it. Obviously, I have to rest. We're very injured. I want some card draw. Heal 16, or even more 16, does some good damage too. Right, do that. Also, we can just now kill you. Overkill on you, but I'm not worried. You, you needed to die. You had to go. Oh, uh, you be patient a little bit here. Oh, we are frail now. I can't really be that patient. When did I get a parasite? I don't remember getting a parasite. Seeing red. It's more energy. Exhaust. Do I need that much energy? It's a lot of energy. Rage. I don't need rage. Yeah, I'm going to take a seeing red. It's unce unceasing top. The energy gain is phenomenal. Don't want to commit to the elite fight. We're doing well. We have a shop. We have 300 gold. and want to commit to the elite fight so we can get to the shop. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Okay. Almost. Because we have a power upgrade. Whatever card's exhausting. We're exhausting lots of cards. Not really. We have a couple of cards exhausts. Like, a few. It's not something we're doing regularly. I mean, it did draw. It's necessarily worth the discount a month at hand. The Flash of Steel might actually be worth it here. Potions, can't do potions. This, remember, this garbage, garbage cards. Or gar garbage everything here. Don't need a third spot weakness. Intimidate might be okay against the shapes to help burn through the artifacts to actually get them debuffed. That might not be worth it. We're going to take Flash Steel. I think we're just going to remove a card, like move a strike out of our deck. Wait, didn't I have Parasite? I just not remove the curse. Well, you know what? I get to keep that 3 max HP. Nineteen. Almost almost slay one of these. Almost, almost slay these swords. Really could use my AoE. There we go. Do we want to save this? It does kill you. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, it just saves us 
a lot of damage here. Can I even throw that in there? To save us additional. Additional grief. This is a very painful hit though, Reptomancer. Ugh. That hurt way too bad. I, I, I can just kill her? I just wasted a chance to kill her, didn't I? I, whatever, just end her. I can't. Unceasing top with the curse in here is never gonna proc. Ugh, I should've removed it. God damn, I just killed us. Oh my god, did I just throw this whole run? Whoo, I might just throwing the entire run because of that. No, I don't want that to be how it is. Might be how it ends up being. I can't. Like, there's no way I can get anything. Ugh. It's painful. It's really painful. So now Unseasoned Top is never going to work because Parasite. Because I didn't remove Parasite. would have been worth the 3 HP. So I just removed the strike. Ugh. That's so painful. Stupid curses. Get out of here. Well, it's not just the curse, it's also the combination of the Runic Pyramid. I, I, it's, a, it's a hole I dug myself. Uh, would be worth saving it. But while we're here, you know, just, just pummel him. Get a little bit of that damage in there. It's gonna start hitting us really hard, anyway. Limit break. A little early for a limit break. For a good limit break. It doesn't exhaust, let's burn it. Not. Probably not. We do have some vulnerability, but drop kick. Nah. I don't think we take these. Entrench is like the closest one I could take to justifying. Upgraded entrench. Entrench. It could be a lifesaver because we don't have that much block. We can play it on like an impervious turn. Or a really defensive turn. Probably still two minor make a big difference. I think we skip it. Obviously, rest here. Alright, max HP, ruined OP combo, because I could have just had some unseasoned top anger stuff going on forever, but we dude, messed that up real bad. So now I just have these weak guards in here doing nothing. Should have obviously doubled my strength before hitting them. Thank you, unseasoned top, for the one strike card. I know you're trying, that's the best you can do. Sixty-nine. Alright. He's gonna hit me for thirty. Gotta tell ya. That's an incredible amount of damage. I'm not happy about taking. Alright, there's my 30 damage hit I just suffered. Oh, here comes another 30 damage hit. Well, let's draw. And try draw again. Gain some energy. Pummel you. Strike you so I can get some healing off the Reaper. So I don't die as quickly. Okay. Impervious is very good here, because he's hit me pretty hard. Shrug it off first, get a card draw. Shockwave gets them weakened? So we hit you, we offering of course. Just want to get some draw on here. So you can go Impervious, we Bloodletting. To gain a Sword Boomerang play. Don't need to do anything here. Oh, I hit him the strike. I almost did. Maybe we should blow like some bash. Would, might have done enough damage. Get that out of the way. 36 is a lot of damage I'm about to take. He's dead, though. He is dead, though. We're also almost dead, though. <laughs> 
Um, oh, he's is actually going to be dead, though. Doe. Because we anger, anger, heavy blade. Don't do anything, because we can't do anything. But it should be fine, because he's not attacking me. He only has his block, and he has... I love it. He's dead. He's dead. He's done for. How do I finish him off? A cla with, a, with, a, with a flash of steel strike? Oh, wait. Limit break. Don't, like, burn. How embarrassed. We had bloodletting, so it wouldn't matter. But how tragic would it be if I just burned my last energy on that and then didn't kill him? Hit him with, hit him with a, just a strike. Just a, a style on him. And that was it. I told you. Hit the plateau. And we're going <laughs> to... We would descend eventually. We just had to... Had to not. We just had to be bad for a little while. 1370. Good. Glad that worked out. I just got really worried and I realized we had unceasing... Like... I took anger, because I took anger, the only reason I took anger is because we had unceasing top. Then I realized we also had parasite, and I didn't remove it at the shop. So that kind of made anger a really bad guard, all of a sudden. But it worked out anyway, because we just leaned on lots of strength and just barely enough defense to get through. So I'm happy that that archetype works at Ascension Mode level 18. 19 unlocked, so exciting. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, enjoy the video, subscribe for more fun. I wish you guys know the DLC. Next, guys, next time your obscure compliment is you'd beat your very strong command. I'll see you. Goodbye.